everyone, and welcome to a special episode of Super Flashy Arrow of Tomorrow with a little bit of lightning. I am your host, Sir Cussalot Travis Pointer, and I'm joined by my co-host, Mara the Shark Watkins. Hello, everybody. That's not the official new name. I just didn't know what to call it at this point, but we're going to find a way to incorporate back Black Lightning into that eventually. Um, yeah, we're here talking all the Comic-Con news of, you know... Supergirl, Flash, Legends, Arrow, and now Black Lightning. <laughs> Comic Con just happened, so we got some news out of there for the upcoming season. So we're here to talk about it. How's it going, Mara? Going good. Just good, not great. I mean, October still feels so long away, so it's like. Comic-Con is like a dirty little tease. Well, listen, listen. I didn't want to, like, put this out there because I don't want people, like, coming after me. But I have a time machine. You have a time machine? And I'm going to scoot forward, you know, to October so that, like, I'll just be there when this starts. Hey. Luna's hey. clearly also upset. Yeah, I mean, she sounds like she's either. just not okay with the fact that I'm using my time machine and I didn't get let like tell her she can hop in. You didn't extend the invitation to her. I mean, I figured she, she knew that. Mommy goes. Listen, I figured she knew that she go. had an open invitation. You might, you might not be invited, but she is. You know. Wow. I haven't had to fire her yet. You haven't given her a job yet. Semantics. Let me find out she's on payroll. You're focusing on the wrong details right now. It has nothing to do with who's on payroll, who's not on payroll. Don't worry about it. It has everything to do with who's on payroll. All you got to know I have a right... All you got to know is I've never fired her. I have a right to know if she's on payroll, if she has tax papers. Like, she didn't file taxes this year, Travis. That's not my problem. Oh, wow. Your taxes are your responsibility. Okay. But anyway. We are here talk about Supergirl, Flash, Legends of Tomorrow, Arrow, and now Black Lightning. So let's get started. Let's get to talking. Start with Supergirl and we'll um, talk about what we, what we learned from Comic-Con. Not a lot, but all these shows, like, you know, normally they give us a lot more than they gave us this year, but they didn't give us much. They did a lot of talking, but they didn't really say anything. Yeah, because, like, they mostly just ask, like, kind of vague ish ask questions that we would normally ask that we know they would just kind of beat around the bush on. Mm-hmm. Um, we did find out. So. Go ahead. Oh, no, that was, I was just saying so. Oh yeah, so they gave us the little uh little trailer teaser thing. Car is in there. She's talking about you know the whole car Danvers thing is a mistake, which I'm guessing she's like gonna be like, you know what? I'm just gonna go full on Supergirl. Fuck this car Danvers shit. Um, that was basically all I really got out of that trailer. Is like she just regrets doing the car Danvers thing. You know? Did you get anything else out of that trailer? Uh, no, that was about it. It's just, like, she kind of seems like someone who's, you know, she just lost the love of her life, in a sense. Um, and, you know, now she's kind of like, I was never meant to have, you know, a normal human life and all that stuff. I was sent here for the purpose, you know, to protect my cousin, one, and that got fucked up. And then I found a new purpose of keeping the earth safe, or at least my city safe. Mm -hmm. And, like, I tried to have two different kinds of lives and it didn't work but from the panel you know we did hear that you know Monel is coming back yeah of course because 
So I mean, yeah, that, that, that I mean, he was. I mean, from my opinion, he was the fan favorite, and I liked them together because I called that from the beginning. If eh. you remember, I mean, I remember. He's just one of those characters. I just like, eh, I don't care. Like, I care, fin- Travis. Even at the finale, when he when he left and you know had to leave the planet, I'm like, all right, bye. <laughs> just cold hearted. I'm not cold hearted. He just I just didn't care about him. Um whatever you say. Oh, I did forget. Like in the trailer we did see um apparently Lena Luther has some issues with this dude and it's a dude from Heroes. I forgot what his name was in Heroes. Which one was he in Heroes? Oh wait, that would <laughs> That would defeat the purpose of what you just said. <laughs> so he's the one that could fly. That was his power. He could fly in Heroes. Um, was he the brother? Yeah. He had a brother. Oh, okay. There, was, there were two brothers. One of them that could absorb everybody else's powers, and then he could fly. The one that could absorb everybody yeah, know, else's I think powers. I know who you're talking about. Yeah. So, that was that guy. It's a fun little, you know, insert there. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. I remember his face, because every time I see his face... I always can I always confuse him for like a brief second from this one actor who plays in suits, but then I realize that the, that they're different. I'll show you the picture later. Okay. Um. But yeah, every time I see him, I was like, "Oh, it's that dude from Heroes that looks like what's his face from Suits." That's just my that's just my thought process. There you go. I mean, whatever gets you there, Mar. That's you know that's all that matters. Just just get there. Um, so we did find out actually who that was in that new pod that got, you know, sent off from Krypton because apparently everybody's just leaving Krypton in a pod. It's a character yeah, for named a planet Rain. that was supposed to blow up and kill an entire civilization. There's a lot of niggas who survived that shit. Yeah, man. They just got up out of there. Like, yeah, oh, we're going to send, I'm going to send my son. Well, I'm going to send my daughter too. Well, guess what? I'm going to send my daughter too. Who's like evil and shit? Character's right. name is Rain. Like you didn't know your kid was evil and would destroy everything when they got somewhere else. That was the thing. They kind of knew. It kind of seemed like they were like you know at the finale. They were like they knew what the kid was supposed to be. So, I mean, but yeah, character's name Rain. Look her up in the comics if you don't know who Rain is. But yeah, she's a very pretty prominent in you know DC lore. Um, they also mentioned also that the very th- pretty. Yeah, I'd let her touch it. Um, <laughs> theme of this season, they say, is um, what does it mean to be human? So it kind of touches on what you know, Carl was going through in that trailer. It's like you know, Carl Danvers was a mistake. Um, bit of sad news though. Um, Floriana Lima <laughs> plays Maggie Sawyer. Won't be a series regular this year because of her other obligations for other shows. They say she'll be like you know be in intermittently, but so we won't get a lot, whole lot of Sandverse as they like to call her, or you know. Max. It kind of makes me wonder what's gonna happen with their relationship, though. I mean, I know that Alex proposed to Maggie and all that stuff, but I wonder how you know uh, the actresses, you know. Um, only recurring status will play an effect onto Maggie and Alex's relationship. Yeah. They'll probably do something like she got like some kind of job offer or something out of state or something, you know? Gotham. That's, that's typically what they... You're clever. You're clever. And then she'll meet Batwoman and then there'll be some shit and then like they'll bring the... Oh, shit. She's already... She's already cheated on one girlfriend once oh, who said she shit, wouldn't do Mara. it again. Oh, shit. Oh, shit. I opened the doorway. You did. You, you did. Now I need that to happen. Like, anything else that happens is unacceptable. It's just that simple. That has to be what oh, happens. I heard that, Greg. It's completely unacceptable. Just like I like was talking to a friend of mine about Game of Thrones. I know this isn't a Game of Thrones show, but we talked about a theory and we worked it out together. And now I need that one thing to happen. And yeah, I'll just say it involves ice dragons. But um, anyway, so she won't be back. 
Uh, let's see. They say some new things are coming for Jimmy. I don't know what the fuck that means, but we'll see. Uh, let's see. What else? Oh, John Jones. Cat Grant will be coming back. Oh, yeah. She'll be back. They said oh. that she'll be back as a um, reoccurring. Occurring. Yeah. Um, yeah. John Jones. Apparently, his father will make an appearance in this, you know, in this season. And when we say John Jones' father, do we mean the Martian, or do we mean the, the father of the dude whose body no, I, he is? I don't. Inhabiting? I don't think he's talking about Hank Henshaw's father. They're talking about you know John Jones, the Martian Manhunter, because they, they the way they talked about it was like he was saying like you know he thought he was the last. Oh yeah, one, apparently. space dad and all yeah, that. Yeah. So, the way they talked about it, I'm thinking it's just, it's you know, Martian dad. Um, but yeah, anything else from the Supergirl panel you want to make sure we throw in there? Talk about Jimmy's getting a love interest this season, and I'm super happy because it won't be Kara. Mm mm. And it has nothing against Jimmy. It's still like it's, they just it's, don't it's work. It's black people. I know. I know. It's not Jimmy. It's, it's not black people. Black people. <laughs> <laughs> this girl could be Asian or white, and I still would be happy for him. He just needs like an outside romantic interest that's not within that core group because it just doesn't work. Mm, right. Whatever you say. Shut up. <laughs> Anything else? But we'll also be getting more Wynn and Jimmy, you know, teaming up for Guardian. Yeah, more Guardian and stuff. Fun and fun fact. Yeah. I didn't realize that Lyra and Wynn were still together. What did you think happened? I thought they I thought she had like left or something like that and she had moved on or something. I'm gonna need you to do better. I'll eventually get to better. <laughs> oh, man. All right. Well, that was Supergirl. Anything else? No, nope, that's it. All right. We'll touch on Black Lightning, even though we really don't know. We didn't learn much from this episode, from this uh, panel. Um, they just were just talking about, like, you know, what they want the show to be, how they want the show to feel and all that, and how important it is, you know, to get you know, the black superhero on television and all that kind of stuff. That was mostly what the panel was about, but... Um, it doesn't surprise me that much, though. I mean, I don't... I didn't really know... I mean, I'm pretty sure he's a more popular character if you're very familiar with DC Comics, mm -hmm. but I wasn't aware of who he was, and, you know, I guess that could be a thing with a lot of other view or potential viewers. Mm -hmm. So, like, not knowing what to expect... There's not really a lot of questions you could ask. Right, right. For this. So I I'm kind of happier to see that they spoke about what they want to see mm -hmm. the show turn into and where they want it to go. Because after like, you know, once you put all that out there, now it's just kind of on you to make it happen. Exactly. So we're just waiting, you know, it comes out, you know, at after the mid season break is when Black Lightning starts showing on CW. Um, like we already know, Black Lightning, aka you know Jefferson Pierce, Black Lightning is played by actor Cress Williams. If you all don't know who that is, think back to the '90s. There was a show called Living Single. The character named Scooter. Queen Latifah's character Khadija was with him. Um, set in New Orleans. Differences in the comics, it's set in Metropolis, but New Orleans is a good spot. Um, why? Because there's a whole bunch of black people down there? Yup. That's exactly why. And? <laughs> is this post or pre- Is this post or pre-Katrina? Well, I mean, it's 2017, so Katrina happened okay. 12 years ago, Mar. Sorry to ask. <laughs> I feel like anytime I hear hear New Orleans uh, mentioned in a show, like it's either post or pre Katrina, 
or there's some mention of Katrina. See, my thing, anytime I hear somebody mention New Orleans, my first thought is it's a wonderful place because you can drink in the streets. For those of you who wondering what that was, you know, Luna's misbehaving right now. And so she's ripping apart my magazine. Mara had to check her real quick. Don't say that. They can't see what I'm doing, so that makes it seem like I'm hitting her. I never said the word hit. I said you had to check her real quick. Well, well how else would you check a child? I mean, you scare the shit out of her with a look. That's what you do. None of my looks scare her yet. I mean, well, nothing scares her right now except for, like, random loud noises. Barely that. We had a big old thunderstorm last night. Side note. Well, since we're speaking of uh, Black Lightning... Um, <laughs> we had a whole big thunderstorm last night. I mean, not last night. It was during the day. And she took a nap, like, right through it. And even when she woke up, we still had these big thunderclaps. My dog is barking, going crazy. And she's just staring up at the ceiling like, what's happening? Well, listen, listen. Your dog is a pussy. But. I know that. Here's the thing. <laughs> but for real, for real. Like, I've heard things like that with people's dogs, like, going nuts, like, with thunder or like going nuts with fireworks and all that i don't know if bear is just like you know out of his fucking mind honestly high that might be it too but he just <laughs> he just doesn't give a shit like it's just only like thing honey he, badger only thing he cares about is if you know somebody he doesn't know comes in the house or somebody knocks on the door Either one of those things happen, he loses his fucking mind. But other than yeah, that, Prince is like that too. Other than that, he's like, you know, even right now, he's on my couch right now on his back, chilling. <laughs> <laughs> but um, anyway, back to Black Lightning. Um, can I see anything else we know? Oh, from the trailer, we also know, and from the panel, um, the woman in the video. Um, that was his wife. Apparently he's not, they're not still married. It's his ex-wife now. Oh, okay. Um, let me think, let me think, let me think. Is there anything else? No, it was pretty much just a discussion about like, you know, how important this is in general as a show and to have it happen and all that. Um, just trying to give it some background so you know what you're walking into. Mm Mm-hmm. Yeah. Like they did some things like you know Peter Gamby is in the show if you know the comics you know he's you know important in the comic books but if you don't know the comics they won't mean anything to you um so yeah Black Lightning second half of the season is when it shows up we'll be covering it but we're gonna move on to Flash now unless you had any questions about Black Lightning or anything nope I will just wikia all of it there you go. Yeah. Black Lightning. Also, if you kind of want to give yourself a little background on Black Lightning, it'll kind of help. You can um, read the um, Black Lightning Year One comic books. It's a good line of comic books to read. Okay. They came good place of, to start? Yeah, it's a great place to start. came out a few years ago. I actually have them on my phone right now. Um, but yeah, the little DC Comics app, get it on there. I think the whole, if you get the whole thing, it's probably end up costing you probably like 12 bucks or something. Um... Yeah, to get the whole series. Um, yeah, we'll move on to Flash though. Dun dun dun. This is uh, like I said, it's another one of those panels where they did a whole lot of talking and really didn't say shit. Um, we know it picks up twelve months later. I mean, not twelve months, six months. Where did I get twelve from? Um. It seems like they're kind of giving Iris something more to do now, which is good because she kind of was just always standing around waiting for Barry. <laughs> um, but now they can like the way they talk about. I will it, say it's going, she's that kind of running Team Flash, which is pretty cool. What are you saying? I will say I'm kind of happy that they didn't just make her out to be someone who's just doing nothing and. She's just mourning, you know what I mean? Mm-hmm. Kind of like how they made Emo Barry seem after she died in the future, you know what I mean? Yeah. 
like I'm rewatching the Vampire Diaries, right? Why? This is because I want to. I don't understand why you watch it in the first place. Because it was it's an okay show. But anywho. There's so many good shows uh, out there. Shut up. But you don't need to waste your time with an okay show. L- listen, listen. I'm it's the last one through, to judge. It's getting right? me through the summer, Travis. Listen, listen, I'm the last one to really judge because I'm still obsessed with Big Brother. So And Lost. Listen, Lost is like the greatest show ever made. All right? So I need you to like, like check your attitude right now and get your shit together. Just because you don't recognize it, it's okay for you to be wrong. But like... Yeah, yeah. Lost changed television as we know it today. All right? The way television is going on right now, the good shows that exist would not exist if it were not for Lost. If you say so. I do say so. But anywho, back to my point. Oh, I'm not done. So, (laughs) I'm just fucking with you. Go ahead. (laughs) Oh, my God. I was like, what more can you say about Lost? Oh, I could say a whole lot more about Lost. Okay, yeah, really and that to. could be one other show yeah, another day. Yeah, yeah. I don't remember if you, where I was going with really my point. If you really want to challenge me to do so, I can. But no, no. You were oh, saying no, something about Vampire Diaries. I was like, I forgot where I was going with my point. You were rewatching Vampire Diaries for some note. reason. Yeah. Um, so in season five, in the finale of Vampire Diaries, Damon and Bonnie were, you know, lost to the other side in some parallel universe where it was just Damon them Waynes? two. They were repeating the same day in 1994. Was it Damon Wayans? But, huh? Was it Damon Wayans? No. Oh, Damon okay. Salvatore. Um, it should have been Damon Anywho, his girlfriend it. Elena thought she would never see him again. She had herself compelled, compelled so that she would forget all her love for him pretty much because that's how broken up she was like she wasn't doing anything and so I'm happy to see that they made Iris you know more productive of her time like I'm sure like deep inside she's grieving but like I'm happy that she's at least being productive yeah yeah like she's kind of like overcompensating kind of thing which is another way that people end up grieving but yeah she's like they show in the trailer, like, yo, I'm not going to just sit around and do nothing. Like, because Joe. Because that's like, not what Barry would want me to do. Right, right. And Joe is all like, yo, there's no way that you're okay. She's like, well, I'm not going to just sit here. So, yeah. <clears throat> um, We also know, like they told us before, that the main villain is not a speedster. Rumors, rumors are Thank this. God. That it's the thinker, because they've thrown out the name Clifford DeVoe, which is the thinker. Look him up. You all can, you know, get more information on him. I'm not going to throw that out there in this episode um, because, like, you know, borderline spoilers. So if you want to look up the thinker yourself, like I said, Clifford DeVoe, you can find out who he is. Um, We also saw in this trailer that Kid Flash and Vibe were out in the city doing the crime fighting thing together, which is a very interesting combo. One that I am looking forward to seeing. Uh, you know, it it's an interesting combo, but it's, it's the only thing that would make sense right now with, you know, Barry being in the Speed Force. Yeah, it's true. And then, you know, Caitlin shows up. She's got a little weird gun thing, and <clears throat> I don't know what's going on with her. So she's like, I guess I'm kind of evil, I might not be, but I'm going to help you get your speedster back. But then the way they were talking to the panel is like, or in the interview, one of the two, it's like, because um, I saw some interviews with them too, but kind of hinted at the fact that it might not be the same Caitlyn, might be an alternate, you know, universe Caitlyn, alternate Earth Caitlyn, you know, but we'll see. Yeah, because in the panel they were asking if, we were getting Caitlyn Snow. We were getting Killer Frost. And then she asked if we liked who liked which. And then it was kind of like, well, no one would be disappointed. Once again, did a whole lot of talking and said absolutely nothing. Um, yeah, pretty much. They also made it a point to let us know that the tone this season will be a whole lot lighter than last season, which is a good thing because... It got kind of dark last season for a fl- for the Flash. 
Um, Got like arrow gritty almost. Almost, almost. But yeah, anything else with Flash you want to touch on before we move on to Legends? Uh, one second. Did I have anything I wanted to speak about? I took a lot of notes on the Flash and Arrow, so. Mm -hmm. Um, wait, can we just talk about nope. Kenyon, uh, outfit, his Where's Waldo outfit? I mean, do we have to? Just for like two seconds, because I mean, that cracked me up. I mean, okay, but. <laughs> because his name in the show is Wally, and I, he's wearing a Where's Waldo outfit. I mean, I get it. It's just, eh, all right. <laughs> Oh, but okay. But the one thing you didn't mention is that Gypsy's dad is showing up in this season, and he will be played by Danny Trejo. Who? Danny Trejo. Make me know who that is. Crazy Mexican dude that's in like almost everything, playing a crazy Mexican dude. Oh, that dude! I don't even know. I don't like. I, I'm like I'm ninety five percent sure I know who you're talking about. But it's just, um, hold on. I'm going to look him up right Machete. now. Machete. Hold on. Hold on. Let me look him up. Hold on. Let me look him up. Cause I think look I know at the screen. Machete. Yeah, that dude. Yeah. Yeah. That's who I had in my <laughs> head. Like <laughs> the Mexican dude who always plays a crazy Mexican dude. Yeah. Yeah. That dude. That's, the, that's who popped into my head. Okay. I never yes, knew his he's name. he's playing Gypsy's dad, and I think that's going to be fucking amazing. Yeah, that's great. That is great. What else you got? Anything else? Nope, that was it. I just wanted to point that out. Okay. I also like that they mentioned they were probably going to stop with some time travel because shit's too fucking complicated. After one person, one of the fans asked... I'm still confused. Can you explain how Savitar existed? The same question I kept asking all of last season. Yeah, I hear you. I hear you. It's just one of those things. Like, it's it's easier if you just stop asking. Yeah. Candace Patton kept saying, just please, girl, just let it just move on, please. <laughs> which, which signifies that also all of them were also confused how it works. Mm -hmm. It's like, it's better if you just don't ask. It's just, <laughs> it's don't ask, don't way. tell. Yeah, man. It's like on Star Trek, man. It was just like there's so much time travel shit that happens in Star Trek, especially Voyager. It's easy if you don't ask. I'm not a Trekkie. It's whatever, man. You're missing out. It's one of those shows that makes you think. But anyway. I got too many shows that make me think. Not really. You got shows you think make you think. I got shows I gotta pay attention to. There we go. Yeah, that's different. That's different. Like, Star Trek has shows that when they're over, you like, damn. Like, you like be contemplating philosophy and shit. But, um, we'll move on to Legends now. I got bored of the Legends panel. I kind of cut it out halfway through. See, see, this is why I'm always firing you. But anyway, you can always just put me on unpaid leave instead of firing me. That's less effective. If um, you say so. It, we know it picks up, you know, right after the finale ends, which where know, they're living literally in the land of the lost. Yeah, man, You're living in the land of the lost, and the dinosaurs are all over the place in L.A. Saber two tigers. No! Luna's like, I don't get it. Living in the land of the lost. Okay, I'm done. Um, one thing we found out is that Rip has formed the Time Bureau as opposed to like, you know, what were they before the time? What? Like the, what were they before? Time Masters? Yeah, the Time Masters. So it was like the Time Masters, like the police, like the Time Police. Now he's formed like the Time Bureau. So I guess like they're like the FBI. Time Police. So they're like the FBI yeah, of like time. The, yeah, the FBI of time. 
and yeah, they're kind of the ones like reining in the um the legends. Like, yo, y'all are fucking up. <laughs> Which of course they are, because they are. Seeing how they, they broke time. <laughs> I mean, they are who they are. Um, they said it themselves in the panel. They broke fucking time. Yeah, they did. I mean, they said it in the end. At the end, of the, um, on the finale, like I think we broke time. <laughs> like, um, at least they realized they fucked up. Yeah. We do know the name of the first episode is going to be called Rubicon. I don't know what that's really going to let us know, but it's called Rubicon. That tells me nothing. We, that's the theme of this whole thing, to do a whole lot of talking and say absolutely nothing. Um, like, all I know, they could just be going against a big-ass big Rubik's Cube. I mean, I don't know what to tell you. It's just what they said. Or a big-ass version of the Jeep Wrangler. It's entirely possible. They did say that there will once again be a, a bad guy team that they go against. It won't be the same team because, you know, Thawne is dead again. They destroyed one third of them, so. so Thawne is dead, and then, you know, Malcolm Merlin's on that island. He's probably not dead, but he's on that island. Um, but we do know that Damien Dark will be coming back. Yeah, we do know Dark is back, and we do know Snart will be back. Yes, um, but he won't be the same as Mick remembers him. Right, right. Um, we also know that uh, Zari Adriana Tomas will be playing a new character who is Isis in the comics. So you all can look nice. her. You all can look her up. They're not going to have a character on the show called Isis, though, for obvious reasons. Um, <laughs> so they're not going to call her that. Like why? <laughs> yeah, so they're not going to call her Isis, but she will be the character that Isis in the comics. Um, uh, okay. There's a villain coming over from the Vixen CW Seed series. Yes, Kuasa. Wow. It'd be, uh, oh, I was calling her Owaska. No, it's Kuasa. It's um, Vixen's sister. So yeah, she'll be a villain, right? Yeah, she's a villain. Well, she, uh, she, she. By the end, she wasn't a villain anymore, but. I'm guessing they'll grab her from like an earlier time when she was a villain because it's all about time travel and shit. But um, we also, for some reason, gonna see P.T. Barnum in this in this series because you know they travel through time, so why not meet the Barnum and Bailey circus guy? You good? Um, yeah. So yeah, P.T. Barnum from Barnum and Bailey. I don't know why, but why not? So yeah, we're gonna get a circus episode. I mean, I guess so. <laughs> That's gonna be lit. Yeah, man. Even though circuses kind of freak me out because I don't like clowns. <laughs> don't make fun of me. It's legitimate fear. I mean, I hear you. It doesn't mean it's not funny. <laughs> I get it. Clowns are pretty creepy, but it's still funny that you're afraid of them. I'm I mean, they, squinting very eerily at you. I mean, you you can do all the squinting you want. You're still funny for being afraid of clowns. I mean, they ain't shit. Like, like I'll kick a clown in his throat. I don't give a fuck. Now, clowns carrying machetes and shit, that's a whole different thing. But, like, just clowns in general? Nah. Now, that whole clown craze with the people dressing up as clowns and chasing people with knives and shit, that was not a fun time. See, that was, was different. Like I said, that's different. Like you, like, you know, concealing your identity, you got like a mask and you're wearing like machete, you know, carrying machetes and knives and all that kind of shit. That's different. That's different. But just clowns in general? Nah. Ready to move on to Arrow? Or you want to talk some more legends? Yep. Nope. So over hundred tomorrow, I just want to see them fix time. Okay. Well, I mean, you know, you know they have to because time exists. So, do you think it's going to? I, I might have missed it because they probably might have asked it. Do you think that the changes they made will ripple over into the other shows? I doubt it. Let me tell you why. Because we already know Flash picks up six months later. 
So everything that happened with Legends will be like before that. We've already passed. Yeah, we'll be already passed. And looks like Flash is picking up, you know, normally. So I'm guessing they won't. They won't no flash everything picks oh. up with flash normally so it's like you know six months later because we that's that's the only timeline that we really know is that six months later and oh, okay legends is right away so with flash we know that picks up normally so yeah i can't really see them saying like oh it'll be ripple effects throughout all of it okay but yeah Anything else? Imagine John gets a daughter back. It flips back the other way around. He had a daughter, then he has a son, and now he has a daughter again. But that'd be awesome. They should do that. Or he has twins and has one of each. Now you're thinking. Now you're thinking. Instead of having the trouble of one kid, now you gotta deal with two. At least he's not in jail this time, though. You know. Or imagine it just puts him right back in jail. <laughs> They fixed they what well, they don't fix time but like the ripple effects is he never got out of prison. <laughs> that would be fucked up. He doesn't get out of prison. He actually has one boy, one girl. That lies his way on her own. Oliver and Felicity actually got married. Hmm. Interesting. And like they're raising William and William's like, you know has Felicity as like the greatest stepmom ever. Right. But anyway, let's talk Arrow. Go on to Arrow. Yeah, let's talk Arrow. Um, they've told us that this season, you know, season six is family. Um, this is one that they've definitely not really told us much because the way Arrow ended up, you know, they can't really tell us anything without giving away who's alive and who's dead. But I have a theory. I think everybody survived except for William's mother. That. How do you take my theory? I don't know. Because that's what makes sense. Because she's the one that ran back into the woods and shit by herself. Everybody else was out there together. They figured out how to survive when that shit went down. And she was out there by herself. Oliver's ways of raising William by herself now. Makes sense. I kind of pointed to that, though, at the end of the season from 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 our last couple of Episodes, Travis. How are you going to take my idea? I mean, I really don't remember you saying I that. I theory. mean, I believe you, but I don't remember you saying that. I don't even remember that discussion. But yeah, I said if I thought anyone was not surviving that island, it was his mother. Okay, well, you know, they gave us a little bit of confirmation with the whole trailer with him, you know, taking care of William by himself. Because why else would he be taking care of William if his mother was? You know, unless his mother right? was Right, because at that point, if she survived, she'd be like, I'm taking him to, like, Sweden, where you can't get to him. <laughs> yeah, yeah. I mean, and then, like I said, we, you know, I don't see them killing Felicity yet because, you know, we still got to There's still get, so much you can do with her. Yeah, we still got to get that, you know, Felicity being the ultimate villain thing because I still think that's going to happen. Um, we had also theorized that wild dog could have bit the duck could have bit the bullet too because even though he had he kind of like it would have been left unresolved his story it would have been like bittersweet that you know when he went missing from his daughter's you know custody hearing or whatever um it would have been kind of heart-wrenching if he had died on the island without being able to do all that stuff you know what I mean? Yeah, but they wouldn't do that. This isn't Game of Thrones. Um, Everything's Game of Thrones. Game of Thrones has ruined my life. Yeah, that may have been what that may be what it is. Game of Thrones is like influencing your thoughts on this, and like things they would do on Game of Thrones are not what they would do on the CW. But uh, <laughs> Game of Thrones kills main characters like first season. Yeah, yeah. So it's this is different. Um, I think he'll survive also, but like I said, we also know that Dinah Dark is actually getting to put on the Black Canary costume, like, you know, everything. I was going to say, yeah, she's getting a new costume. So we know that she survives, and then we know from other interviews that I've read before at the end of the season that, like, next season they were getting, like, some flashbacks of Curtis and him coming out and all that kind of stuff, so he's still there. And then Yeah, so um, there's going to be, speak on the flashbacks real quick. They were talking about how 
there will still be flashbacks, but they won't be, like, chronological. Like, right. they've been the past five seasons. They'll be more character-specific, which I think is a lot cooler or a lot better mm-hmm. and probably a lot less annoying than, like, every episode having a flashback that's supposed to tie in to what they're currently going through. Right, right. Then we got um, Black Siren, Laurel from Earth 2, full-on villain, they said, this year. So we mm-hmm. know she survived. So, yeah, they're all alive, except for, you know, the baby mama. <laughs> and it's totally um, one of Oliver's Russian brethren will be returning to the show. Which one? Anatoly. Is that the main one? I think so. Okay, yeah. I don't know names of those I just dudes. know Russian Dude 1, Russian <laughs> Dude 2. Yeah, yeah. Even last season, we, we just kept calling him Russian Dude. Like, we never knew <laughs> what his name was. But yeah, we got, you know, in that trailer... Oliver struggling to be a father and shit. Um, and we know Deathstroke is back, so we know he survived. And there's going to be um, a character-centric es- episode for Slade. Yeah. So where you see a lot of flashbacks about his life. Exactly. So, you know, they're all alive. <laughs> they tried to act like they're not. Except mama. Yeah, well, the mama died, but everybody else is still alive. But yeah, I think that's everything. Got anything else? Wait, who was Richard Dragon? Who was who? Because they, Richard Dragon. They said no there idea. was news about Richard, a character named Richard Dragon coming. Oh, I don't know anything about a Richard Dragon. Okay. Hold on. I'm going to Google this real quick now that you mentioned it. Cool. There was one um, fan who was asking about the Vigilante character and who he might possibly be. They said Vigilante may be someone with a familiar face. Um, but this was after she had, you know, asked if by any chance it could be Tommy. However, they said, so I yeah, feel like that but, they've yeah, kind of shut Tommy. the door yeah. on our Tommy wish because um, the actor who plays Tommy is apparently on Chicago Med. So they were like, good luck trying to get him from there. Because that's Dick Wolf money, which means you're making money. Mm-hmm. Okay, so he's um, Richard Dragon is you know DC Comics character, basically a kung fu master and a thief, trained in martial arts. Um, he eventually decides to use his abilities for good, so he's a hero. Oh, okay, that's cool. Yeah. But yeah, they said like it would be a disappointment if like you know you reveal you know who Vigilante is and it's somebody that you don't really know. So it'll probably be somebody that we're familiar with in some form. Yeah, I'm kind of hoping it's someone that we don't know a lot about, but we've seen like say they've been like they've shown up in a few episodes here and there, Mm -hmm. but like we still don't know much about them, and so I hope they with the with the character uh, character centric flashbacks, they show how he would have got there. Yeah, yeah. It was really cool how they did that flip on us last season, though, because in the comics, you know, um, Vigilante is Adrian Chase. So, all this time, before we it was revealed that he was Prometheus, I always thought Adrian Chase was Vigilante. But. Word. Yeah. That was shocking. Cause I was like, "Wait, is he playing both?" Or yeah, you kind of think like in that whole fight sequence, like, is he like is that just all in his head? Is he losing his fucking mind? You know. But no. All right. I think that's it, though. You got anything else? Nope. All right. Well, that's gonna be it for this special Comic Con episode of Super Flashy Arrow of Tomorrow. Um, I'm thinking we'll probably be back. You want to come back the week before everything comes back on, or you want to just wait? I wouldn't just wait. Okay, yeah, we'll we'll wait till the thing everything comes back on TV, unless there's like some big news that comes out before then. Then we'll hop on and we'll talk about it. But outside of that, we'll see you when everything comes back on. Until then, 
You can find us on both Twitter and Instagram at Creation Magazine. Also, find us on YouTube and just, you know, easy to find on YouTube. Just go to creationmagazine.com and it'll take you to our YouTube channel. Um, you can find me on both Twitter and Instagram at Sir Cussalot. That is at S-I-R underscore C-U-S-S-A-L-O-T-T. Mara, where can they find you? You guys can find me. Oh. And they can find me on Instagram and Twitter at Shark underscore. And that's M-A-R-A-D-A-S-H-A-R-K underscore. All right. That'll be it. We'll catch you all next time. Until then, stay creative. See you in October. Stay creative. Stay free.